In this video, we will walk through how a global packaging manufacturer is using the Site Machine Manufacturing Data Platform to achieve their goal of improving plant efficiency and performance. This packaging manufacturer had spent decades optimizing their production process, making it highly efficient. However, even as a data-savvy manufacturer, they were challenged in a number of areas. Data integration was still manual, reporting was reactive, infrequent, and limited in scope, and plant-level resources for analysis were limited. Utilizing the Site Machine Manufacturing Data Platform, the manufacturer was able to integrate machine, quality, and downtime data to create a system-wide view of production. Leveraging Site Machine's platform, the operations team transformed their daily meetings from static reporting sessions into collaborative workshops for investigation and improvement, leveraging real-time data. Let's walk through a couple of examples of how the operations team utilized the Site Machine platform to unlock the next level of continuous improvement. In the first use case, the operations team believed that shifts were performing differently in regards to scrap due to training or operator issues. The Site Machine platform allowed the team to quickly verify scrap differences by shift. The day shift did indeed have higher scrap. However, the Site Machine platform and analytic applications allowed them to quickly take this further by performing an analysis of what was causing this. In this case, real-time data determined that daytime ambient temperature differences had higher correlation to scrap versus personnel or shift. In the second use case, the engineering team was looking to validate a long-held belief by production operators that scrap rate for their body makers was driven by machine speed. They would actually see higher scrap when running the machines faster. This caused them to limit the speed of the line. However, by leveraging the site machine platform, they were able to quickly perform analysis and determine that there was no correlation between line speed and scrap rate. The higher scrap volume was due to the higher overall output. The chart shows that the scrap in parts per million is not impacted by speed. The y-axis is the tear-off parts per million, the type of scrap, and the x-axis is the cans per minute, or the machine run rate. The high bars on the left are due to startup of the line, where they do have high scrap. But to the right, you can see the bars indicating scrap do not increase as you speed up the machine. This analysis, along with other scrap optimization efforts, are helping to drive a 5% saving in the production cost of each unit, translating to a $3 million impact across six facilities producing cans and lids. By connecting, integrating, and modeling production data in Site Machine's platform, this packaging manufacturer now has a single source of truth for production data. The foundation is now in place for delivering data-driven manufacturing capabilities across the entire enterprise.